anybody that's spent any time with DCS knows how passionately we feel about clocking. In digital audio, the right sample at the wrong time is the wrong sample. The samples have to, have to be evenly spaced or our sampling theory breaks. The job of the DAC is to recreate the digital samples as they were recorded. What's really important is getting the, the timing accuracy of those reconstructed samples at the right point in time. Clocking is essential. Getting bit for bit playoff and eliminating jitter lowers the noise floor, improves the imaging. It, it, it just across the board makes playback that much more engaging and gives you a much more intimate experience. We certainly believe in clocking, but we'll let the listeners and the people that evaluate our gear see what clocking does for them. The first master clocks that DCS developed were for the professional market. In a recording studio, for example, there are dozens of pieces of equipment. And so typically uh, a master clock will be used to synchronize all the individual pieces of equipment so that uh, everything is running at exactly the same sample rate and all the data is, is nicely synchronized. A coincidental discovery from that work was that adding the master clock actually subjectively improved the performance. In the Lena clock, there are two crystals that are cut from a quartz crystal. Um, they're designed to vibrate at a specific frequency. Um, the, the vibrations of the crystal are very, very stable. They can be affected by temperature very, very slightly, uh, which is why we calibrate the units for temperature, or in the case of the Lena clock, we use a crystal that is actually heated inside an oven. We actually decided to use an oven oscillator, which is one that, that, that basically internally is kept at a constant temperature to avoid uh, external influence of, of temperature change. The Lena DAC has its own internal crystal oscillators, uh, which are used to clock the audio when the DAC is operating without an external clock source. So by phase locking the clock that's in the DAC to the Lena clock reference, uh, the frequency over, over time and over the life of the product is much more stable. Digital audio is, is prone to jitter, particularly with things like AES, which is self-clocking, there's something called data-induced jitter, which is effectively the, um, the clock is embedded in, in the data, and so it can be modulated by it, which is tricky to get, to get rid of. Then you have things like um, second-order effects, so uh, in a DAC, the, the clocks will will be on the same PCB typically as, as everything else. And so the DACs will actually draw a little bit more and a little bit less current depending on the on the audio that they're playing. So um, actually having a, a completely separate clock on a completely separate power supply, and that's all it does. Measurement wise, it's it's a pretty subtle effect, but you know, we've been selling clocks to studios and to customers for 30 years now people that are familiar with DCS know is something we're passionate about. We technically believe in it. We think that it enhances the user experience um, and the listening experience significantly. Um, we've gone out of our way to try and educate the market on that. Uh, but we feel passionately about it uh, and we've tested it uh, over and over and over again. And we feel very comfortable with saying that clocking really is a massive improvement to overall playback.